Let's talk retouching for high-end real estate photography. This is a photo from a set that I did for my friend Brian Soto down in Prospect Leopard's Garden. This photo is a composite of three different images, and I'm going to show you how I made that and why. So this is the base image. This in the middle tier package, this would have been a finished image, but I wanted to do a little more. And so I shot a couple extras. We took out the trunk there and when we did the cat moved, I really liked the cat. So I'm gonna put that back in. And this is one where I got a brighter exposure to get the nice look on the ceiling. So you see the little hot spot up here and how the ceiling is pretty dark in this photo. Whereas this one, you see all this light that's coming in from the direction of the light in the image which is from that window outside and so we want to combine those to make a nicer finished image then we're going to put our little cat back in so this is the base exposure with the trunk removed and uh, we're going to put those three images together so open them in photoshop and they take forever to put together this is my base image so i move it to the bottom this is the image i'm going to add on top of it so i add a layer mask to it which i'm going to do here in just a second Oh, so I used my fist to block the light because there was some glare coming in over here and there was a little smudge on the lens that was also causing some glare. So I cleaned that smudge off and in the editing, we put the layer mask on and I start brushing in some light on the ceiling. I wasn't super exact with this. I just kind of brushed it in how I liked it and then fine tuned it afterwards. This is really, really flashy, a little too obvious for my taste. And so I go in with some of the, that same ambient layer and brush that in there to give it a little more natural look there. It's not quite as sharp and contrasty, but it looks more natural, and I like that. And I also added some of the flashy layer over here and some flash to this stuff to keep that looking lively. And so after that's all brushed in, add some more natural light here and there to soften up the flash look. Then I go in and I add the, the cat in from my other layer. And of course, when I brushed the cat in, I got some of this um, chest that we don't want so much. So I do a quick little pen tool and get rid of that. And then I go in and do a little pen tool around the cat's foot and take that out and then a little brushing to get rid of the, the rest of it. And that's how I created this image. It's pretty simple. Base layer, ambient, 